No idea. Shield. And money. God damn, that was shit. After all that trouble. Oh well. Let's go to New Haven. Wait, what? Where's this lead? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. It's somewhere we can't go yet, so I might as well just uh, not bother. Either way, we need to talk to Claptrap, who is guarding the entrance to New Haven. Hey, buddy. God damn it, why'd you jump at this side? Hello. I've received proof of Mad Mel's demise. Claptrap's everywhere will rejoice. Please wait while I enable access to New Haven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right, we're in New Haven now, so, uh, pretty good. We're making pretty good progress. It's only been 20... I don't even think it's been 20 episodes yet. This might be episode 20. Fuck, I don't remember. I'm trying to think. How many episodes I got to? Balls, I don't fucking remember. That's pretty bad. Is this where we get introduced to Helena Pierce? Uh, I'm to inform you yes. That I've made a decision I think you won't like. As administrator of New Haven, I am responsible for the well-being of its citizens. And in that capacity, I must keep the road to sanctuary closed for now. Baron Flint's tribe and that infernal contraption of theirs are out on the salt flats. And I don't want citizens getting killed trying to get past them. Hey man, hey, you need some? I wasn't born in no barn, alright? Well, actually I was. But all I'm saying is you don't believe people... <laughs> Son of a je Jesus. OMG. Either way, if you search around New Haven enough, you will find out that Dr. Z now lives here. He lives in the hospital. I can't believe people are still coming here on that wild goose chase. Yes, there is, you idiot. Yeah. Oh, and there's a very hurt claptrap over here. To get his thing, it's very, very easy. It's on a balcony right up there. Which is, again, very easy to get to. You jump on the tires, jump onto this thing. Son of a bitch. If I did what I said I you should do, jump on the tires, jump up on here, and then jump on over. Jump on over. Made it. Right, okay. Done, done, diddly, squat, done, bitch. Yeah. I did it. Holy crap. And in them boxes that were on that little balcony I got like five hundred dollars. Which is kinda jack shit, considering how much money I have, but still, it's uh quite nice to have. Hello. Sweet, we got more. Capacity. Uh, oh yeah, it's in my backpack. I have no idea what I was looking for then. Backpack SDU. <laughs> oh, we can have 21 slots. Should probably buy some stuff. Well, more so sell some stuff. Yeah, I know where exactly where you go, dude. I've... Actually, I was watching... Uh, this, it was one of the episodes of the old one. I don't know why I was watching it, it was just something I kind of decided to watch. Right, okay. Oh god, that sounded very bad. I just had like a little shock. Yeah, where the claptrap over here goes, he runs over here and opens this place, which leads to a weapons chest. Very good one, if I remember rightly. 88 and 11, so yeah, that's better than this. E yeah, that is better than this, but the thing is, it only has two. I don't think I'm going to use that, honestly. No, it might be a tiny, tiny bit better, but I don't really think it's that worth it. No. Alright, we need to go and talk to Helena, who is in this building here. When do we get the pistol? 
right in. Did you? Hang on a minute. Have you had an accident or something? Is that a burn? I'm guessing so. She has a pretty messed up face, which I never actually so noticed when I first played. To the hopeless. Nothing more. And we get the final upgrade, which allows us to carry four weapons at a time. Nice. Power to the people. Okay. Do we actually have to use it? No, we don't. Okay, good. I think I will equip the... There, there. There we go. Right, Scooter. I gotta power you on. Get your ride. Get your ride. Right, we have to turn that on. The west gate, the east gate, the tenement, the rooftop. Oh my god, there's so much shit we have to turn on. Here's the gate. Hello. Okay. I don't remember. This mission is obviously very trivial because, you know, it's no combat whatsoever. It's literally just running around and pressing X on the corresponding um, objects. So yeah, it's not the hardest of quests. Ooh, would you look at that? There's a rooftop one, which is probably not that difficult to get to. Oopsie. I wonder if I could actually get onto a roof. Oop. Oh wait, getting up here was a... Oh, right, there it is. Found it. Maybe I could just be cheap and do this. Ah. Oh. Can I just jump? Yeah, I can. Wow. That was difficult. And then the east gate's over here. And that's that. Over and done with. I think that is... I think you turn them on so you can get out of the city. Yeah, it is. No idea what I did then. I was jumping. Oh yeah, there's quests on this board. Ooh, like I'm off to a flame. Oh, <gasps> yes. This is in the Arid Badlands. Get, go to Tetanus Warren and kill King Wee Wee. I remember that quest. The corrosive crystal harvest in the Tetanus Warren. Okay, yeah, not hard. The moth rack's not hard. I think it's called the moth rack or the mother rack. Moth rack sounds more like it. Right, Helena, I did your quest for you. Can you give me a reward? Can I do for you? Give me a fucking quest. Oh, alright, we have to talk to Tannis now. Okay, let's go to the Arid Badlands. We need to anyway because we need to check. We need to, for one, check on TK. Whoa, look at all these places. Jesus. Wait, what? Are you being fucking serious? I really hope not. Oh my god, they weren't taken. It wasn't. Fuck sex. Yeah. <laughs> Where are these journals? Rust Commons. Okay. Bloody hell. Let's go and talk to Scooter about this little summon summon. I think we've already got it. Oh no, we don't. Fuck me. There is so much shit. Oh my god. Right, well let's firstly go to Firestone. And then to TK. Then to where the Mothrak is. Which I obviously remember because we actually went there. It was within the first session. It's where I went and got my ass kicked by level 15s when I was like level 12. It was when I tried running over a like badass raider and it blew up my car. Yeah, it was when that happened. That's where the moth rack is. If I'm remembering correctly, I could be wrong. But the moth rack's pretty... A, a bit of a bitch, to be honest. I can't believe everybody's moved. Apart from, you know, Claptrap. Oh, come on. I get down. Well, let's go and check on TK, shall we? This fucking scared the absolute shit out of me when I first played. Yeah, doing this quest. The episode is called Psycho Surprise. Although by the time this goes up, that episode will no longer exist. So, you know. Maybe what? I was, I was, well, like, when I first started doing these re-LP things, what I did consider doing at first was the whole, like, uploading this, but putting the rest of the videos on unlisted. So that way, if I wanted to show you an episode of the old ones, then I could. But... You know, I never decided to do that. 
Anyway, here's TK. Um, as you can see, he's a bit dead. And, uh, yeah, shame really. I never actually got to this when I first played. I feel kind of ashamed in myself. No, I never knew he had a little thing in the back. 26. They're very shitty. They're not the greatest. No, it's called Psycho Surprise because when you run out of here, you get attacked. Oh. No, you don't. Yes, you do. There you go. And that's why I called it Psycho Surprise. Except, when I first played, the Psycho didn't say a damn thing. No, the Psycho said absolutely nothing and instead just proceeded to attack me. And I decided to turn around, saw a Psycho there and shit myself. The story shot, that's pretty much what happened. Are you seriously shooting at me? I want to try and get him with my shotgun. Hey! Oh, I got him! Yes! That's one of my life achievements done. Oh yeah, what, 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 what am I doing? I nearly went to the fast travel system. That would have been very, very stupid. Right, go to the quests, firstly. Uh, moth to a flame, here we go. Spawn, and let's go! I'm not going to kill the moth rack in my car. It would probably be a better idea, but I don't want the re reduced experience. I'd rather get the full, you know, the full amount that it'll give. Because I think the moth rack's kind of high leveled not like whoa what the fuck not ridiculously high leveled but i think it's kind of here it is you just go up this hill and then there's the three torches around the tree and then the moth rack kill uh, then the moth rack spawns here we go number one son of a bitch number one two and three There it is. No, it isn't. Where's the moth rack then? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Level 25. Okay, this might not go as well as expected. Okay, no. Definitely not. There ain't no way I'm killing that. Not yet, at least. Maybe if I use my other gun. Okay, let's respawn. I didn't think it was level 25. Right, what's the rec- bollocks. What's the recommended level for this? Do do do. 21! What? Oh, it is a rack. They die very, very quick. Understandable. But it's pretty fucking bad, though. 25! That thing fucked me up. The moth rack will just be roaming about now. I think you can see it from here. There. It's huge, so you should be able to see it from a good distance. Hmm. I think I'll take this one. If I can just whittle it down with the car then, that would probably make things a bit easier. Oops, I did not want to do that. Alright, moth rack, you bastard. There it is! Oh my god. Wait, it's not letting me target it yet. Is it too far away? Are you kidding me? It's fucking huge. And there's that. Come on. Let me target the god. There we go. It did let me target it. There we go. Ooh, we hit that. Can I be really cheap and just take it out from here? That'd be pretty awesome. It does hurt it. Yeah, it does. Probably be better if I just did it from here. Oh fuck, that thing's coming over here now. <laughs> oh my. That's not targeting it. No. Alright. 
Right, I'll still be targeted. 